Hello friends, in today's class we are going to talk about the problem that can occur with simplified bakery algorithm. Uh, welcome here and uh, the main problem here in this case is two process can reach us to the critical section in simplified bakery algorithm. Okay, uh, the reason the, uh, that uh, this doorway is not atomic, okay, uh, this is not guaranteed that uh, it does not guarantee uh, that two process will not be assigned with the same number. So, assume that here uh, I am taking few values, suppose P1 is uh, 0 uh, and P2 is suppose, okay, I have few values over here, 3, 1, 2, 2, okay. So P2, 3, P3, 1, P4, and P5. Suppose, uh, suppose, uh, suppose this is the situation. Initially, all were zeros, and the P1 is the first one to enter, and it find out the maximum value from this is as zero, and plus one is added to this. Then P4 and P5 tried to lock, tried to lock this. Uh, uh, or take the number or take the token here and in that the process both of them executed the statement simultaneously okay and in that maximum value of num0 to num n minus 1 will come here for 1 for both of them and in that case both value assigned here in this case is 2 then comes p2 and then it checks the, the still trying to lock it and it comes with the value here in this case is 3 so now because the two processes are assigned the same value 2 uh, when they will check here this entire algorithm okay uh, so one will be definitely going to enter because for one uh, this statement will be always false huh? like num of p num of p uh, num of p is here in this case is uh, zero i'm not ignoring it here so num of p will be what three one two two and num of i the process i value is what one 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 and one so three less than one uh, false one less than one false two less than one false two less than one false so this entire thing will allow p3 to enter with the lowest token number to enter what will happen after that after that p3 will unlock it and assign its value to zero now so now i have a value what zero i'm not considering i'm considering only here in this case is this value uh, p4 and p5 when they try to enter into this uh, critical section so here we are left with what a uh, three and two and two now here when it will be checked here three less than two false two less than two false two less than two false that means for p4 it, it will result in false it will not spin lock and it will enter into the critical section and same for p5 also three less than two false zero i'm not checking a uh, zero i'm not checking because zero will be false in the statement only three less than two false two less than two false two less than two false and will enter into the critical section so two process can enter into the critical section and that will not make it what mutual exclusion will not be guaranteed in this case okay so it have same number that means mutual exclusion is violated okay mutual exclusion is violated so unfortunately Beckley algorithm cannot guarantee that uh, the two process uh, do not receive the same number in the case of a tie okay now this is not guarantee now we have to break the tie that suppose in previous case uh, p4 and p5 okay p4 and p5 are assigned the token number 2 and 2 in case of a tie, uh, the process with the lowest process name will be served for. So P4 and P5, this is the process number 4, this is the process number 5. The lowest one is what? The lowest number in this case is 4, so 4 will be served first. Since the process names are unique it is tot uh, and totally ordered, our algorithm will be completely deterministic. The common data structure will be choosing i and num i. Okay, now this is a... This is the again still a doorway and uh, we are uh, in this we have introduced uh, uh, an array of n boolean choosing uh, all the values uh, and set all the values to false. So now what we are doing here we are somehow 
this in this we are using choosing is equal to true and choosing is an uh, n boolean values uh, n boolean value uh, and all assigned to false so while pi is choosing here choosing i it will be set to true then num is equal to max of num 0 2 and then plus 1 max of this and then choosing i is equal to false okay this is our still our doorway where number will be assigned now so while p 0 and p less than equal to n and plus plus p uh, this will wait for choosing for if if it is really choosing choosing is equal to true then wait here if choosing is equal to false you go and check it now choosing ensure that a process is not in the doorway that is the process is not choosing a value from the num so we are somehow uh, like ambiguity may occur right that if it is here in the choosing if you're still putting a number and at that time you're checking definitely something inconsistency may happen so choosing will ensure that when a process is in the doorway it is in the process not choosing the that is the process not choosing the value of a turn not in the doorway okay so it's not in the doorway that that it will make sure that it is not in that uh, otherwise it will let it to complete the choose a value then we'll we'll just test this, this value okay so for each process we are making sure that it is not in the doorway up now the tie thing huh? as as we have already seen that p4 and p5 assign with the value 2 now this algorithm will not make sure that it will not it cannot assign two values to the same okay because again it's not an atomic process uh, choosing will not help because it is just uh, waiting uh, waiting for it to be uh, complete the choosing process now while p uh, while p not equal to 0 so uh, let me write here p1 was 0 and p2 was 3 and p3 was 1 p4 was 2 and p5 was also 2 so now fine it is okay for as i told you that for for one what it will check uh, three uh, zero that will not check three less than one then one less than one then two less than two then uh, okay two less than one and then again two less than one this four thing and it will be true now p4 and p5 uh, while while this is uh, running for p4 and p5 now we have uh, uh, written the statement rather than num minus p num of p is less than num of i it is written as num of p comma p is less than num of i comma i okay so now if p4 and p5 say 2 2 what it will say 2 comma 4 is less than 2 comma 5 right so if a is equal to c huh, we are comparing a comma b less than c comma d two variables are there which is equivalent to a less than c either a is less than c then fine or if a is equal to c then b less than equal to b less than d sorry so if a and c are equal if this two and two are equal right num of p and this num of p two and two are equal then we'll compare b and d also and when we compare b and d here the value here in this case is b value will be uh, for one value it will be 4 and 5 that is what p4 will execute and p5 will execute 5 and 4 so p4 will be given preference and it will be allowed to enter into this critical section so what is the trick here trick is this statement in case of a tie in case of a tie and that is the, exactly the statement over written over here that in case of a tie okay the process with the lowest number so p4 and p5 is 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 tie with 2 and 2 the process with the lowest number is going to enter into the critical section okay so here uh, same thing will happen that p4 and p5 p4 will first enter into the critical section then p5 okay so that is your bakery algorithm and uh, we have already seen the problem with the simplified one and we have seen the remedy in case of a tie so this is your uh, original bakery algorithm and this is the this is the condition that we are checking okay so i hope that you understood this uh, this solution uh, the multiple process critical section problem solution synchronization requirement is satisfied here in this case okay and in previously mutual exclusion was not guaranteed but with this modified 
uh, with the breaking of this tie and one more uh, uh, one more uh, variable choosing i which is just to make sure that it is not in the doorway while selecting uh, assigning a token or a number to a process okay so that's all for this discussion thank you